You're a liar, Kendall. And I can prove it. Really? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get away from me, Lou! Get away from me, Lou! There is no baby cameo. Not another syllable. You are in contempt. Rusty, show the jury out. Your Honor, if ever there was a time for a sidebar. Ms. Fry, Mr. Singer, Mr. McCoy, let's huddle. I was right. I proved what a scum sucking liar she is. Zip it. Greenway, just zip it. Your Honor, due to the unorthodox turn this case has taken, I move for an immediate mistrial. Your Honor, the jury has more than sufficient evidence to render a fair and unbiased verdict. I move that we play it as it lays. Your Honor, there is no way this jury can reach an impartial verdict after that prejudicial display. All right, I will hear arguments in my chambers. Court is in recess. And you don't even think about leaving until I deal with you. Good heavens. I thought I'd seen everything. Darling, I think we should go home. I knew I was right. I knew Kenna was lying and I proved it. I came through for you, just like I promised. I'm your secret weapon. Shut up, Greenlee! Just shut the hell up! Ryan, what's your problem? You, Greenlee, you are my problem. No, 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 no. I'm your hero. I totally saved the day. Is that what you call this drive-by? Saving the day? I cut the cord on Kendall's pregnancy fake-out. There is no baby, which means she can't steal the cameo's bling-bling from you. Fusion is still mine. Kendall's out, and we get to keep what's ours all along. Take a picture, Ryan. This is what winning looks like. Kendall got what she had coming on. No, along. it's your turn. What the hell are you doing, Ryan? I don't get it. Why is Ryan coming down on Greenlee? Kendall's the one who screwed this whole thing up, faking the pregnancy. This is so twisted. That woman is about as desperate as they come. Yeah, well, staring down the barrel at a death sentence will do that to you. Right, Pumper? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why don't you enlighten me? It's all for nothing. What's that supposed to mean? You want to dirt ass Kendall. I'm gonna get drunk. Manhandling me with your daddy watching. Go with Ryan now. Did I fall in a rabbit hole? Why are you trying to get rid of me? Get out. I'll catch up with you later. The judge told me not to leave. I don't care what the judge said. You get out of here. I'll handle the judge. I don't believe this. You're still mad at me? Did somebody spike the punch? After all the crap she's pulled, you're still protecting that bitch? What is wrong with you people? Kendall is the mother of all liars. She lied about hitching up to Michael. She lied about the baby. And God knows what else she's lying about. You're out here. Come on, get out. Damn it, Ryan, you're hurting me! She's treating me like the bad guy, taking me prisoner when Kendall's the one who should be working a chain gang. Here, here, here. Hide this. Hide it. Hide it. Get over here. Hide this. Hide this. Hide, hide anything that can be used as a lethal weapon, Greenlee, because I swear to God, I could kill you right now. On, Ryan. Give credit where it's due. Kendall used every backhanded trick in the book to get the Cammy's fortune, and I took her down. What Kendall did is none of your business. Holding on to Fusion is sure as hell my business. So was protecting you from that snake in the pooch. Okay, wait a minute. You promised me. You promised that you would trust me. Did you do that? I stopped Kendall dead in her tracks. I took her on while you handed her the keys to the whole Cambia's cookie jar. My business, not yours. Again, Greenlee charges in where angels fear to tread and leave us all with hell to pay. You know, I'm really tired of being treated like a human pajama. You give me your word. Greenlee, you give me a word that you would let me handle everything and back off, Kendall. That was before. Before what? Before she hijacked the brains of everyone I care about. Damn it, Ryan, I saved your butt. The deal was, was that I was going to take care of you. I was going to make sure that you would get Fusion back. You turned on me. You and Jack and everyone else turned on onto Kendall's side. And I had to show you that you were protecting the wrong person. You had to show Kendall. 
You were so bunched up that she was going to cash in on this monster jackpot and you wanted her to pay through the nose. Who cares if she goes to prison? That's not what I want. <sighs> well, guess what, Greenlee? After the stunt that you pulled in court today, that's probably what's going to happen. Hell, the judge might decide that Kendall should go straight past jail and go right to death by lethal injection. Kendall to suffer because she was lying about everything under oath. Oh, and you are all about telling the truth. She was getting away with everything. So, the penalty for taking home all, all the marbles is death. No. No, I wanted her banished to the cornfields, not pushing up daisies. Well, you should have thought about that before you stormed into the courtroom and ripped off her dress. So she, she's impersonating a pregnant woman. She lied on the stand. I don't see the mandatory death sentence. Okay, well, let me make the connection for you. If she lied about the baby, then she probably lied about other things, like her marriage to Michael and how he ended up in cold storage. Do you understand now why I wanted you to back off Kendall and her pregnancy? You knew. You knew she wasn't pregnant? Yeah. I knew. What difference does that make? What difference? Make? Are you cartooning me? I mean, what else did you decide not to tell me? You and Kendall are such best buds. Pillow talk and synchronized cover stories. I bet she told you everything about herself. All her childhood traumas, what feels good where, and how she tests positive for killing Michael Cambius. Huh? Well, Ryan, the whole truth. Did Kendall kill Michael? Jack, perfect timing. Thanks for holding Greenlee at bay. What, am I under quarantine? I'll take it from here. Good luck, Jack. You're gonna need it. Hold on, Ryan. We're not finished. Oh, Greenlee, we are so finished. It's not even funny. So this is you what? Running back to Kendall? Warp speed. So what, Dad? You gonna take me over your knee and spank me? Send me to bed without my supper? No, actually, we're just going to sort a few things out. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm a bad girl. Not as bad as Kendall. She was only baking a bogus bun in the oven. Kill me now. Ryan's not the only rat. You knew Kendall's pregnancy was the all-American fake out. You and all the rest of the liars can go to hell. <laughs>